In the last week, we learned through Nehemiah 9 and 10 about the process of repentance and making a new decision by the Israelites. Repentance is not a quick one-time thing, but a process of coming to God again and again and experiencing spiritual renewal and life change with God's word and God's promise. We have decided to give the word of God first priority in our lives and to subordinate all areas of our lives to the Lord. We pray for the young people to lay down their lives for the Lord with a firm commitment and be preciously used as a kingdom of priests and a missionary sending nation. At the Global Leaders Worship Service, Sarah's message was about God being the ruler of all history. We learned how important it is to make a clear decision as to whether we are following Christ or following the Antichrist zeitgeist. Sarah had been under the temptation of Satan's voice, but she was blessed when she renewed her commitment to the Word of God from Mark 11:22. Now she is going to study for her A-levels to the end so that God may be glorified through the victory of her faith. The International Bible Seminar took place with a special presentation by Samuel Abram Chang on Proverbs, through which we could learn about the true source of wisdom. We cannot find the true wisdom in worldly books, but alone in the fear of the Lord and studying the Bible. It was great to see Maria Park in Lydia Point again. We shared our testimonies with each other and what we have learned through God's Word. Thank God for blessing this international meeting to mobilize and equip our next generation to be wonderful Bible teachers. Every morning we have an early prayer time known as daily bread. First, we study a passage from the Bible and write a personal testimony about it. Then we meet in small groups led by our next generation. We share our testimonies and pray together for each other for our friends and for the known prayer topics. This week we have had the opportunity to work intensively with the Gospel of Luke and the fifth chapter of Acts. Pray that God will bless the early morning prayer and use it mightily for the spiritual revival in Germany and Europe. The University of Tampere is a public university located in the city of Tampere in Finland. It represents almost all internationally recognized fields of study. The university combines research and teaching in the fields of technology, health and society. By collaborating with its partners, it builds on strengths such as the unique combination of scientific disciplines and applied expertise. There are currently 21,000 students studying at the University of Tampere who are spread over seven faculties. Originally founded in 1925, the university merged with Tampere University of Technology and Tampere University of Applied Sciences in 2019. Pray that God will raise up influential Bible teachers shepherds and praying co-workers among Finland's highly qualified students. We pray, according to Nehemiah 2.17, for the rebuilding of the spiritual walls in Europe and for the mobilization of our next generation, according to Ezekiel 37.10. Let us pray for 10,000 one-to-one Bible study teams, for the pioneering of all 1,700 campuses in Europe and for the sending of 100,000 missionaries by 2041. May God guide the International Bible Seminar every Wednesday evening. We also want to pray for the preparation of the GLEF 2023, for the master courses and the house concerts of the Mustard Seed Orchestra.